Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. Uh, today we're gonna make a one pot garlic asiago pasta. Start by mincing your garlic. I'm using three really large cloves because we really like it. I'm moving a little slower because it's a new knife so I need to get used to handling it before I go nuts. Um, but after you have your garlic all minced up, make or pull out your chicken broth. I'm making it because I don't have any homemade broth and uh, measure out about four cups of it and about two cups of heavy cream. Also using a few ounces of cream cheese and about half a cup of grated fresh Asiago cheese for the sauce. Over medium high heat, you want to use a deep pan to melt about half a stick of butter. After the butter's all melted, go ahead and add in your garlic and let that cook for a few minutes. After it's really fragrant, go ahead and add in your liquids, the chicken broth and the heavy cream from earlier. Stir those together, make sure there's no garlic stuck to the bottom of the pan, and then go ahead and add your noodles. I am using penne. Um, you can use whatever type you like. Uh, just make sure that you stir. Stirring is gonna be really important for the first for the whole thing actually, let me not even say just for the beginning. Um, but after you have your liquids added in your pasta, go ahead and start adding your seasonings. I don't really know why I add them a few at a time and then stir, but I'm using um, a bit of smoked paprika, some dried oregano, dried parsley, dried basil, and I think that's it. But the full recipe will be on deepfriedhoney.com if I missed anything. Um, and then you just want to let it simmer over medium-low heat. Stir it ever so often. Like I said, you don't want anything to clump together. And let it cook until the pasta is almost al dente. Um, it'll start to soften, but you do not want it like edible before this part, when you add in the cream cheese and the asiago. Um, it's not really that important to get it all, you know, mixed up in there at first. Let it soften so that it will be a lot easier to incorporate in a few minutes. So it's been about four or five minutes, and now I'm gonna stir the cheeses into the sauce. It's not hard, just do it thoroughly. And then it's time to let it cook until the pasta truly is al dente, um, and or the sauce has absorbed to your liking. You'll notice over the next minute or so, that the pasta sauce really does thicken and it seems like there's a lot less of it than there was in the beginning. The pasta will continue to absorb the sauce and the sauce will continue to thicken the longer you leave it on the heat. I mean, I guess there is a way for you to add too much and it'd be, you know, soupy, but generally no. Um, so I'm taking out a little bit here because it's gonna be used for something else. Don't ask, I don't remember actually. Um, but it's a lot more liquidy, right? This is about six minutes later, and you'll notice that there's seems to be less sauce, but there isn't. It's just thicker, and it's really kind of sucked up into the penne. As always, thank you for watching. Um, if you try it, let me know what you think, and I hope you have a great rest of your day today. Bye.